I'm Tony Darling. And I'm Amy Dallin. Yeah, and we are here to chat with you about all the things. So, quick recap from yesterday. We it had amazing Friday, stuff going on. Yeah. And there's several days now. We've kind of lost track of time in yeah. a good way. Yeah, in a great way. You know, the days all blur together. I mean, much like the contestants or the participants that are like, they're sleeping now, they're up later, like there's tons and tons of people in the stands. That's one of the notable things that I noticed yesterday. And you yesterday. were saying that you, you weren't quite expecting that. No. Like, that you thought, that you were thinking of conventions, everybody goes back to their hotels. Right, yeah, no, I had no idea that people were going to like literally camp out on the floors. I believe Scott's, in Scott's thing yesterday, in Scott's show yesterday, he actually um, videotaped going and like checking out people who were sleeping, not in a creepy way at all. Scott. Scott. It's okay. You know what? I took some pictures of some people sleeping in weird ways today, too. So, <laughs> yeah, that was really shocking. And I think, I feel like I see more people sleeping today than I did yesterday yeah. at this time. You know, it seems like people maybe are getting a little bit tired. But it's also, it's starting to feel like home. It it's is. It's a little lived in. Lived in. <laughs> yes, we've seen some amazing desk builds. Yeah. Absolutely. We've been scoping out the desks. Desks, yes. Oh, and I thought something was really interesting. Um, the concert yesterday was amazing, and we'll get back to that. But what I thought was also funny is that this morning when we walked in, and I, I put this on my Instagram, um, everybody was sleeping in the concert area. That was where like a whole bunch of people, I was like, so where you were headbanging, you then went to sleep. It was super great. It's so efficient. So efficient. <laughs> um, so a ton of great stuff happened last night. Yes. Um, a bunch of shows. We had our show. There was a great game development show. Oh my God, wonderful. Uh, later on, I believe there was some retro gaming. There was some retro gaming happening. Oh my, it was my first experience with retro gaming. It was funny though, because we have the system out. A whole bunch of people were coming in. They were all playing, you played, I played. It was great. So the retro gaming we, element was awesome. I, I think we have some footage actually of our discussion after yes. you were done with your retro gaming mm. lesson. <clears throat> Hello. Hey friend. We borrowed an N64 from game. I, I miss it. <laughs> I hear you had a retro gaming lesson. Yeah, I did. It was awesome. Yeah, it's cool. You played what, Mario? Yeah, Mario was cool, you know, kind of triggered some memories. I feel like I must have seen it before. Awesome. Played, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Ghosts and Ghouls? I didn't play that one. Liked before. Ghosts and Ghouls, actually. It was, it was hard. I didn't get very far, but I really enjoyed it. I, I like smashing things. Yeah, that's so. good. That was good. Uh, Sonic, I believe. Sonic was fun. I actually think I leveled up on that one. That was like the only one, but yeah, it was cool. It was yeah, cool. we were kind of a Sega house, so yeah. big on the Sonic. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Uh, what was and uh, how was Mega Man? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like to smash things. <laughs> to be fair, apparently you picked the hardest level. I did. Well, you know, I mean, I'm Thor, right? So I really enjoy the winter, and I was like, ice level, because I love ice. I want to be like Elsa all the time. Yeah, no, it didn't work out so well. But enough about me, more about our excellent, excellent guest. You may have noticed we are not alone in the studio today. That's right. Yee! Would you please introduce yourselves for anyone out there who might not know? Uh, my name is Magnus, and I am. My artist name is Mew. Yay! And I make music. So watching Mew's concert last year was one of our absolute favorite parts of the gathering, and we had him on the show, and we really wanted to have him back uh, to tell us what we can look forward to this year. Well, it's uh, more. First of all, it's only my music this year. Uh, last year or the previous years, I've only had. I've only been DJing like. Only I've been playing other people. I've been playing my tracks, but I've also been playing other people's tracks. Mm -hmm. But this year, it's only my productions, so it's like more of a concert than. Ow. So it, this is 100% Mew. I do a lot of remixes, which is cool for you know Pegboard nerds and other hydraulics, Phase One, other people that got hooked up with uh, an American music label. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of new stuff. That's, That's so excellent. awesome! That's awesome. Now you're all electronic, right? Music, yes. I like to call it electroacoustic sometimes. Okay, electroacoustic. So, that's so awesome. So I haven't seen you perform, so I, I'm I'm asking just kind of cold turkey here. So do you have like a digital system? Are you analog? Are you using a laptop? Like what is your? I'm a little bit of an electronic music geek, so I was just curious, like what your setup okay. looks like. Uh, that's the other thing. This year, the setup is actually extremely elaborate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it might not look that like that on the outside, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm really I'm a 
huge movie geek. Okay. And I've been trying for the, for the last year. I've been trying to find like where does Mew where where will Mew go? Sure. Uh, as an artist, and I wanted to. I it was actually after seeing Interstellar because like mm -hmm. a really really mighty experience for me because I love the sound of organs and yes. it was like a really evocative experience. Yes. And I realized that if I could mix dance floor rave with cinema, like yes. that would be, I don't know if it will work. <laughs> and uh, I would love to put way more effort and money in, into the video productions this year. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's more intention behind what you will see on the big screen right. than oh, just a VJ hammering yes. graphics. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, that sounds like it's that right up my alley. Fantastic. I can't wait to watch this. This is awesome. When can people catch your concert? I think it's 9.30 tonight. Excellent. On the main stage, of course. Yes, on the main stage. So, um, let's see. I think we, we still have a few more minutes with you. So, I mean, yeah. I, I really wanted to ask you, um, your development as an artist, you know, what do you, I mean, clearly you're going to be adding in more video, um, things like that, but where do you see yourself going? Like, what do you want to promote in the future? Where do you see your art developing into in the future past this concert, which we're very excited about, but past today? It's actually, um, last year many people have been, because I have this, uh, the costume, the LED costume that I play with. This amazing elaborate helmet and it's responsive oh. and it does really cool light stuff. Cool. You get, you get different feedback every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've, I've been trying to, because the first uh, prototype, uh, I was like a huge robot and I had stilts. I went like 10 feet high or 3 meters. It was really huge. <laughs> Uh, didn't work out as much as a, for, as a DJ, and you need to kind of adapt this for flights if you're going to tour and travel. Right. So, Sorry, in my uh, mind for a second, I thought you meant like I'm going to be a flying robot. I yeah, need to adapt, adapt it for, for flight. flight. And then oh yeah. Like <laughs> no, it's uh, anyway for flight on an airplane. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Airports, stuff like that. <laughs> that would be awesome. Though. That would be awesome. So, We've anyway. been talking about it because I'm the part of the rigging crew, so we did talk about yes, doing a harness yes. and lowering from the ceiling or something. But mm -hmm. perhaps next year. Yeah. No, but um, I've been trying to slimming it down to focus more on the artist and mm -hmm. not like an uh, anonymous robot. Mm -hmm. And also being more accessible. And of course, some people saying that say that that's a nice way of selling, seeing, selling out. Mm. But I, uh, I was talking to Alex in Pegboard Nerds. He's a good friend of mine. And I was trying to like I always bounce ideas off him. Mm -hmm. And I was like, do I make music that's too hard? Because some people like it, but many people say, oh, ah, it's a little bit too hard for me. Okay. And well, I, that's I, okay. I like like really the soft moments, for example, as in Inter Interstellar, mm -hmm. just soft glockenspiel and stuff like that. Yes. But I also love Meshuga, which is uh, Swedish black metal. It's really, really <laughs> right, like industrial right. metal. So I, I cover the entire spectrum. Right. Well, perhaps that juxtaposition between the soft moments and the hard moments, for me, I, that's what I find really interesting about a, a lot of electronic music. So I think you developing your own taste and your, uh, your own identity, whether you're super accessible or you're super anonymous, I mean, I feel like we've seen artists that have made it both ways. You know, I mean, there are electronic artists out there who you don't really know what their face looks like. And then yep. there are others who are very on the social media, you know, tweeting back to people all the time. So I think whatever style you want to develop, the quality of your music stands out and shines on its own, right? So I, I think you're going to be great either way. But thank you, you have thank too you. much personality but to stay an anonymous robot. That's I'm glad true. you're going to yeah, well, show. Yeah. <laughs> you need a face. You need yeah. a face to the music. Yeah. yeah. But the music is always like, uh, as a manager I met in LA and he said, let the music speak first, always. And that's what, like, it, you kind of have to go back to that every time to, like, I want to do this, I want to do that, and social media, social engineering, blah, 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 all that stuff, all the hype, the hype, hype engine. Yes, I understand. Sometimes that it can be exhausting. Yeah, as an, yeah. as an artist, maybe it feels a little exhausting or insincere for a while, but I think that you find, you'll find your niche in it, you know? But yeah. what makes it worth it? Is it getting up on the stage? This makes, uh, th this is like a playground, and it's also like a little child, like we know. Many of the attendees here, they listen to music, even at gigs like this. Yeah. <laughs> like this. But uh, like the challenge is trying to get them jumping. Yeah. And uh, make them feel unified. So you yeah. address all of them. So I hope everyone will like get into the stuff I'm trying to get them to do, because so I think it's going to be really awesome. You yeah. hear that challenge? Yeah. You will come you together challenged. and you're going to dance. Hashtag Mew Challenge. <laughs> uh, we're just, this is like hashtag weekend. So anyway, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you so, so much. much. Break thank the so leg much. today. I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> and we next, uh, we're going to talk about a different challenge we have going on. Yes, the Pimp My Real. Which is how yes. to make the coolest, most elaborate, most creative desks.
at yes. the gathering. Yeah, speaking of engineering and putting things together, I mean, and it putting seems on a like good show. putting on a good show. I mean, it seems like it would take an entire setup crew to get some of these rigs up. I mean, honestly, some of these desks, they're just incredible. They're incredible. I can't believe the amount of detail and thought that has gone into some of these desks. I mean, down to the cubby holes for food yep. or the little like fold down lock systems. Mm -hmm. I just nuts. No, and I'm still, I know I said this yesterday, I still love all of the wheels that are on top of all of these rigs so that they can just roll them out in the end. Yeah. yeah. So we've been walking around looking at as many cool ones as we can and looking at all the pictures. Mm -hmm. And we have some fantastic ones lined we up, do. I think. We do. We do. We have huh? some, uh, I guess we can call them finalists. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I believe we have some, yeah. some final choices. Some final choices. Uh huh? Such as right here. Yeah. Hey. Huh? All right. So what we loved about this was the disco ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, uh, we yes, the disco we ball. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little partial to the pink design as well. Yeah, yes, huh? yes. Uh, also, um, yeah, the the pink design is fantastic. Um, I also, I'm not sure exactly what those black things are. I think those are little extra lights that they've got up in there. Um, it just seems Could like there's a fans. lot of stuff. Fans. There's a lot of detail. It's very tall and impressive, but it's a different design than you see in a lot of the other desks, oh, which is cool. Yeah, and right up here, those are actually blinking. You can't see it in the picture, but they blink um, kind of like an orange-yellow color. Um, and that is actually what caught my eye was the disco ball. And that, I mean, we had been taking pictures of other um, desks, and I was like, Amy, Amy, we have to go to that one. We have to go to that yeah, one. It's got a disco just, ball. It's just blinking. disco ball focused. Yeah. Uh, but it's a really <laughs> rad desk. We're really excited about this. Oh, Ooh, love these this one. were cool. This yes. is actually a set of row, like two rows side by side. Yeah. Uh, and it's a little hard to see in these pictures, but they're sort of iridescent. They glow with this really wonderful way. Oh my God, um, they're, they are beautiful. Yeah, it's quite an entrance when you're walking down the hall or you're walking up to the hall. Or the as, back. Or you see mm -hmm. the back. I mean, no matter what angle you're coming at this little section of desks, it's beautiful. And it, it's a very powerful entrance. And because they coordinated both sides, it creates a wonderful effect as you're walking Great by. Effect. Yeah, I yeah, mean, you really feel a really like, good one. Yeah, you're in a section. You know, definitely. So, Star Citizen. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, man. This one is hard to capture in photographs. There's a lot going on on this desk. We wanted a picture of it all lit up, but it does make it a little hard to see that you can see they've gone with the theme. They've mm -hmm. got the future is back, all kinds of back to the future stuff all over this desk. Yeah. And as you can also see, they also have these like weird, these little character cards. Oh, they switched the picture, but there's little oh. character cards of each one of the players. They made like their own photo card of themselves. And then, yeah, this yeah. back is really uh, elaborate. You can see it from anywhere in the hall. Gorgeous detailed pictures of Samus and Mario, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just the amount of detail that went into this. Also, I really loved that not only was the entire thing caked out in little pink stars and little gadgets and things, but um, the future is back. I really like how they played on the theme. Yeah. They emphasized the theme. Um, the little panels that were at the very top, they all had a really neat picture. Well, um, one of them was where we're going. We don't need roads. Exactly. Great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just like from start to finish, this reel just had everything going on. A lot of attention to detail. A lot of attention to detail. This was a, a definite contender. Absolutely. Oh, this one. This one. The graffiti one. I, I think love that's it. What we I, ca it. I kept calling it 80s graffiti. 80s uh, graffiti. Because I really love the way, like, the handwriting to label each individual desk. And the yeah. clean look to this one is really good. Yeah, I mean, it's simple. It's simpler than the last one we, that we saw, but we Here's know what it is. the back of it. You can see that illustration on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it had illustrations on, on all the sides, but like you said, still simple. I like that. It's eye-catching. It's a clean design. Very clean. And seeing this one lit up, it was pretty cool, too. Unfortunately, it's uh, kind of light out today, but um, <laughs> all of these look amazing lit up. So. Um, oh, oh, this one. Turn your head. Turn, um, turn your head. This one is beautifully constructed. Yes, and what a creative way to put your soda bottles in there. I like that they have like a wine rack for the soda bottles. Yep, That's yep. what impressed me about this design. Also, again, very clean, kind of simple, very clean. Yep. Um, I was really it's into that. Detail of uh, one side there with the room for the tower and the soda cubbies. Mm -hmm. And those mm -hmm. little scalloped things on the side, which I'm just really partial yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a, what a, a great attention to detail on this one. So, um, so yeah. Um, all right, so I think we also have um, our, our video from our final look at the... Uh, at last at, year's at, uh, Pivotal Sunset, Pivotal yeah, yeah, Sunset Gaming. Sorry, I was trying to remember the name. Sunset's Gaming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking really good. And you know, the things that I've noted, uh, clearly it's been a day or two because we've got some empty soda cans. Um, we also, I really, I'm really respecting the fact that you guys have like a blanket and extra pillows and like, 
This is just like home. This yeah. is just like your living room. Of course, you need to be comfy even though you're spending a lot of time on a computer. It's important to sit comfortably and stay warm, of course. Right, right. Now, do you get up and like move around like at the concert last night, for instance? Uh, a lot. No, <laughs> not at all. He, no. he doesn't, but I move around the ship a lot and look at everything that's to look at. And I have, since it's my seventh year in a row, I have a lot of friends here that I keep visiting all the time. So I spend a lot of time walking the ship. And what about you? What are you doing? I download stuff from Diesel Plus Plus and Facebook. I do walk around sometimes, but that's not too often. Okay. Now, is there anything else particularly cool about your arrangement now? Uh, well, something that then wasn't mentioned before is that even though we're on a big uh, LAN and uh, we're, spe we're using a lot of power, uh, we're still thinking a bit eco-friendly with our spotlights and our light lights in our shelf that whenever the daylight comes in it has like these uh, light sensors so our lights are never on during the daytime just to save that little bit of extra power. That's, That's really awesome. awesome! I wonder if everybody at the gathering did that if there'd be like if you would see a noticeable difference. I can't even imagine I don't want to know about the power bill of this place <laughs> like after this is done but I'm just saying like that's really cool and that's really forward thinking of you guys. Yeah. That's really great. So points for excellent desk design for that one. Yeah, points, points on that. Um, and you know, it being all lit up and it's full like regalia is really cool. Like seeing it now when it's dark and I see you have a little glow in the dark keyboards. Or well, I mean lit up keyboards. You know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and one more cool thing that we didn't comment on before. We love this. Gamers don't die. They just respawn. It also looks like it is hand done. It, like it is. It's, it is. It is hand done by the the main designer of the the, the shelf. Yeah, I he, think who we talked to yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He, he yeah. did it. He did it himself. So it's kind of proud of it, and we decided to showcase it this year. Absolutely, and yeah. it looks awesome. I love yeah. that he did it in kind of like eight bit ishness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's really cool. You know, again, A plus for that. Little gold star. Maybe a gold star. Yeah. Thank yeah. you guys so much yeah. for sharing the process of uh, desk building with us for our show. Yeah. No problem. You're welcome. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you guys have fun. Yeah. Game hard. Win some things. Of course. Whatever. And and please get some get some sleep. You in particular. I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm worried about you. Get hey. some sleep. I'm get some sleep. No. Okay. No. No sleep needed. All right. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you guys. Okay, so the five desks that we looked at just now are the finalists for the Pimp Mario. And you can vote to help us decide who the winner's gonna be. Voting will open at six o'clock. Go to gathering.org. Yeah, yeah, get those votes in. In the meantime, <gasps> Hello, friends! Hello, guys! Hi, guys! We have some amazing cosplayers coming up here. So all of these guys are judges for the co for the uh, cosplay contest that's going to be happening this evening. Um, I'm going to actually be hosting the contest, but these are the judges. These guys are the ones that everyone needs to impress. They're going to be making the final decisions, and you all look amazing. I'm so glad that you could put all this stuff on for us. It's Thank just, you. it's incredible. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, I guess, starting off, introduce, you guys, introduce yourselves. Yeah. Uh, I'm Kari. Okay. Yeah, and I'm from Poland. Okay. And I'm really happy to be here because it's my very first time in Norway and very first time at the gathering. Yeah, me That's too, man. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Okay. And uh, tell us what you're wearing. Oh, uh, this is the costume of the red from the game Transistor. Okay. By Super Giant Games, and this is very lovely game. I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you look wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, well, I'm Karen Lava. Uh, I'm actually also born, so it's kind of close for me, but it's my first time at Gang as well. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And I'm wearing a, a Vulcan Hunter from Destiny. Oh, okay. So it's, it's amazing. Kind of with a huge gun, of course. Yeah, speaking of attention to detail, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> and Destiny's right. only a few months old, right? Yeah. So you have to get that together quickly. Uh, actually, I worked with the Destiny guys on quite a few conventions with uh, traveling to Stockholm awesome. and Denmark. So oh, very I've done some cool. promotional work. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. That's awesome. So she had she had an inside view. <laughs> yeah. So yes. And I know that we don't have you mics, but yeah, there. Speak all in there. Yeah. Uh, my name is Virat. <laughs> I go by the name uh, Josh Play. Uh -huh. And today I am Yasuo from League of Legends. Well, you look amazing. Yeah. Thank amazing. You. Everything about it. This is what you had on the website, I think. That's right. So this is the first work of yours that I've seen. It's, it's incredible. Can you brandish that thing for a second? Just, yeah, it's since gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. my goodness. Ooh. 
Okay, so um, so yeah, I mean, we're gonna talk a little bit about the details for the costume contest. What are you guys looking for today in our contestants? I mean, I know that the, all the rules are on the website, but you know, just as judges, give us a little personal opinion on some things. Well, uh, at first, I'm very curious about the Norwegian cosplayers because it's my very first time here. Mm -hmm. So I just can't wait to see uh, the level of the costumes that the characters choice mm -hmm. and how people are. Um, loving the the characters they cosplaying so yes, absolutely yeah absolutely I've been I've been doing some sneak peeking I've, oh. I've met a couple of cosplayers on the floor and of course as soon as I find them I'm like show me your stuff I'm like <laughs> I'm not a judge so it doesn't really matter what I think I'm like but I just want to see it and we're gonna have some amazing contestants let me tell you it's it's incredible so what are what are you looking forward to um, I like of course details uh, I'm also really interested in makeup obviously mm -hmm. um, yeah. and I also like people just having new and inventive ways to solve problems on their costume yes. and doing things I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I have never thought of doing that that way and that's a really right. new innovative way. So right. it kind of shows that they're thinking in a new, like, cool way. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, and I mean, uh, for those of you guys watching, um, pre-judging is going to be happening at four. So um, definitely make sure you go to that because during pre-judging is really where these guys are going to be able to ask you those kinds of questions. And I feel like as having been a judge before, those questions are really what define your decision making yeah. process. When yeah. you discover the new ways that people are making things and the detail and the effort that they put into it. So make sure you show up to pre-judging. That is very important. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. And um, I know you're not mic'd, but what are you looking forward to real quick? Um, I'm a person looking for um, how complete the costume is yeah. and how, how, how much they look alike to the cost, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. costume actually uh, playing. Uh -huh. so, um, accuracy. Yeah, accuracy. <laughs> accuracy, yeah. okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's so excellent. Um, so tell us a little bit about um, what uh, what are your favorite materials to use? I mean, I'm a cosplayer, so of course, I'm yes, all about... I'm drinking this we're in, like, but... We're all like, okay, so what do you use to make your stuff? Or, you know, what are your preferred... <laughs> products, you know, Warbla, etc. Yeah, I know there are some cosplayers that are labeled mm -hmm. like uh, Warbla Queen or yeah, yeah. Eva Foam Queen <laughs> yeah, yeah. or I don't know, uh, sexy, uh, uh, yeah. sexy characters uh, that's supposed to be men or something. Uh -huh. uh, but I don't have something like that. I just like to experiment a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to, uh, to use uh, new materials, every new costume I'm mm -hmm. making. Now, do you prefer to sew? Or do you prefer to make, um, you know, bigger weapons like this, or make armor? Like after sewing for a while, I started making armor. Um, not this piece. This was my very first piece before I knew how to make armor. But then after this, I started making it on yeah. Warbler and Wonderflex, and I really found that I like making armor a lot more than I like sewing. What? How do you feel about uh, that? I think I like making props best. Props. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Because, uh, <laughs> I, I sew a lot, but I find it very tricky because uh, every fabric is different and yes. yeah, you have to be very careful with that. And uh, the armor, it mm -hmm. also can be very tricky because yes. it has to be uh, fitted perfectly. So yes. yeah, you, you, you spend a lot of time to making uh, patterns and if you have a prop, you just make the, <laughs> the blueprint and uh, everything is easier, I think. So yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah, um, and yeah. What? What? Uh, real quick. What do you prefer to work with? Uh, I like, of course, Wobbler. I think that's a fantastic thing. But uh, I like. I like to do like what I call them badass blue space babes, <laughs> basically. <laughs> uh, so I kind of gravitate to do uh, towards like, oh, uh, she's uh, sci-fi characters, and if they have a specific type of skin tone. Right. I did Nebula from Guardians of the yeah, Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. That, that's that. me, by the way, people. <laughs> uh, uh, that's got a huge boom on the internet. Still does. Does. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, but yeah, I try not to limit myself too much. I, if I think I'm going into a certain direction, I'm going like, yeah, well, I, I kind of want to try something new to keep it inventive, yeah. to keep it fresh, to keep new things going on. A true artist. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. True artist. And Yash, play real quick. What's your What's your favorite thing? My favorite thing. To work with. To work with. Material. Um, <laughs> well, since we have spoken about Wobla and uh, Eva Foam. Uh, I can talk a little bit about my kind of love-hate relationship with 3D printing. 3D printing? Yes, which is really new and I think we're going to see a lot more 3D printing ahead. I so, agree. Uh, That's I, awesome. Uh, I've been printing uh, part of my costume, uh, this sword. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say love-hate is because there's so much great potential if yeah. you know how to make 3D models and you know get it to work. But there's also so much 
half the work, like sanding, yeah, and yeah, coating, yeah. and yeah. sanding ten times just to get all the small ridges away. Totally, but, that's totally uh, makes I sense. I love the result, but it takes so much work. So, yeah, totally. but I prefer to work with it when I can. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys so much You're for welcome. being with yes, us. Thank and you. Good luck handling all the awesomeness you're going to see today. That's right. Huh? Yes, yeah. You're great. Um, yeah. So uh, pre-judging at four. Um, custom contest is going to be at six, and then the award ceremony is going to be at 10:30. Um, all on the main stage. So yeah. make sure that you guys are looking out for that. Other things coming up this evening. We've got um, more game shows. We've got lightning talks coming up. Lightning talks. We've got. Of course, Mew is doing his concert. And go to gathering.org for the full schedule. There's so much going on. But don't forget to stop by Zoom yes. Comics. Yes, thank you, Zoom Comics. Because they generously have let us borrow this to make a beautiful set for our show. Oh, and they have the most mesmerizing booth here. I'm a little biased because I'm I had a to drag her person. away by her teeth. Like, seriously, <laughs> not even a joke. So um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Um, and please stay tuned for Lightning Talks. It's going to be the first Lightning Talk. And we want you to watch it. So thanks to all of our guests. Oh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.